Hello friends, welcome to Staff Nurse Exam, where you can watch easy medical video lectures that are helpful in cracking all the medical and nursing exams. This is the fourth part of our drug dose calculation videos series. In this video, we are going to practice a few questions. Okay, so let's start. Before moving forward, kindly subscribe our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest video uploads. Your support is required to keep us motivated. So, as per this question, there is a prescription for IV doxapram 0.1 mg per kg per minute. You have a 90 kg patient and a bag of 500 mg in 250 ml. What rate do you run the syringe at? Okay, so it is a very straightforward question. We'll go with the steps. Step number one would be to see what is dose ordered so the dose ordered is 0.1 mg per kg and how many kg is the patient 90 kg okay so the dose that comes out to be dose ordered 9 mg now the step number two to see what is the total amount in ampule the total amount in ampule is 250 ml the third step would be to see what is the dose in the ampule. So the dose in the ampule is 500 mg. So now I hope you can solve this question. As per the formula, do TA DA is equal to 9 to 50 divided by 500. It will turn out to be 4.5 ml per minute. Okay, so this would be the answer. No, this would not be the answer because the question here is uh, is asking in ml per hour. So what we need to do is we need to convert this ml per minute into ml per hour by multiplying it with 60. So the answer would be 270 ml per hour this would be the correct answer okay so always keep in mind the units let's for move to our second question the question states a prescription for iv noradrenaline 10 microgram per kg per minute you have a 60 kg patient and a syringe of 16 mg in 50 ml. What rate do you run the syringe at in ml per hour? Okay, so what we need to do, we need to first of all see what is the dose ordered, DO. The dose ordered is 10 micrograms per kg and we have a patient of 60 kg. So the net dose would become 600 micrograms when we need to convert it into milligrams okay because the dose here is in milligrams okay so when we convert we need to convert microgram into uh, milligram we need to divide it with 1000 so it would become 0.6 milligrams next step would be to see what is the total amount in ampule total amount in ampule is 50 ml Okay, third step would be to see what is the dose in ampule. The dose in ampule is 16 mg. So now we can calculate it with the formula do TA divided by DA. 0.6 into 50 divided by 16. It will come as 1.875 ml per minute okay so the question here is asking the answer in ml per hour so we need to convert it into hours okay so we need to multiply it with 60 it will come as 112.5 ml per hour Okay, this would be the correct answer. Alright, so always 
remember this formula go stepwise and you will be able to do it in less than one minute okay here's some homework for you a primary care provider prescribes cephalosporin 125 mg im for a client the vial contains 0.5 g of kefzol in powdered form the instructions indicate to add 2 ml of sterile water to provide a solution that contains 225 mg per ml calculate how much volume of this medication the nurse should administer this question is from mosby's 20th edition page number 56 try to solve this question and write your answer in the comments okay i hope you you people like this video if you find this video helpful you can motivate us by liking and sharing this video keep learning through stopness exam your success buddy thank you for watching